Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joe B and Matt and the cat. You guys got the cat crashed out tonight. She is crashed out hard tonight. <laughs> Savor it because wow. usually she's up doing something. She's hitting that chase really hard. Yeah. We watched uh, Stan and Ollie tonight, and I think she was kind of bored with that. She kind of fell asleep. Um, it was awesome. It was the Laurel and Hardy movie. We enjoyed it very much. The story was good. I always like to learn something, and, and I definitely learned something about their relationship and the era and the time of things. It, it was very good. Um, and then we'll go back to number one, where I started out ending last week with AI Rising. Um, it was pretty good. It was uh, space porn. Um, the guy goes out in space, and she is a robot, and he is um, shacked up with her for a duration of time. And then uh, she spent most of the movie naked. Now, I don't know if this girl knew what she was getting herself into, but, but she was naked most of the movie. And when I watched the um, special features, evidently she had had some porn experience, so I think she was used to it. Um, I don't know. You can watch that if you want to. It was kind of boring. It's a rainy day movie. I uh, started watching Gunshot. It went in three parts. I think this was a series of some sort. I rented it because it had Liv Tyler in it. I thought it was going to be good, but I, I was disappointed with that. Um... It, it, the, the most interesting part of it was the, the old lady in the first one, she was being persecuted for her Christianity, and they marched her up on the platform, they took all of her clothes off, they laid her flat, and then they took this great big um, metal plate, which took three or four men to pick up, they laid it on top of her, and then they put weights on her, and they crushed her to death. I have never seen anybody die that way. Neither is the cat. She was really disturbed by it when we watched it. Um, the rest of it was um, pretty boring, honestly. Um, I, I lost interest in it. I really did like the little collars that they wore that looked like the ribbon candy that you eat at Christmas years ago. That, that was interesting. And they were really serious all the time. I can't take shit like that, people. It's just, it's just too serious. Lighten up, Francis. I cut that shit off. I took it back. And I rented Pet Cemetery. Loved it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for the new Pet Cemetery to come out. So I figured I would watch the old one. It was really good. I loved it from beginning to end. Um, I'm anxious to see how the new one is in contrast to it. Um, this one was back in 1983. It was actually shot in Maine. Most of the other movies mentioned Maine and ma made like they were shot in Maine, but this was actually filmed in Maine. It was about 20 minutes from where Stephen King actually lived. It was very interesting um, watching the uh, special features because he talked about it personally, and they went back on a lot of the um, actors that were in the movie, but of course the old guy that played the, mo the, the monsters, he... Fred Gwynn. He, w he was not still alive, but right. he was the best part of the whole movie, y'all. He was so sinister in everything that he did, and, and he was such a good neighbor. It, oh, my gosh. Um, the cats. There was like five cats that were in the movie that they had to use. Uh, that cat was cool as crap, that old gray cat. Um, cats cannot be trained, only motivated, <laughs> is what Stephen King said. That was funny. Um and he would always do a Stan Lee-like appearance. So he was the preacher at the first funeral. And um, then he went on through the movie. You would, you know, flash back to him and such. Um, it That was so good. It was really sentimental for me to look back on that movie. I uh, watched another one. I'll watch anything for you people. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything. I watched, I watched The Russian Bride. And it was all right, this guy, he was a rich plastic surgeon. He got this Russian bride to come, and with her daughter, he married her. I thought they were very much in love. I don't, you know, I, I, you fooled me. 
And uh, then he evidently had the daughter there to revive his son that was dying. And you can go on from there. Don't watch that movie, whatever. Um, State Like Sleep. That was kind of decent. The girl that was in it looked very much like uh, the Spider's Web girl, but I don't, I don't think that was her. Um, her husband commits suicide, and her mother is having some brain surgery, and they coincide with her trying to decipher her husband's death. Um, I don't want to ruin any of it for you. You can watch it if you want to. It, this was not a good red box week. It stinks. Honestly, the movie that Matt brought, the, the Stan and Ollie, was the best movie that we watched. <laughs> And this oh, is I'm the best thing you. that Matt watched. Oh, I don't want to sit on the kitty. No, you got Kitties. it. Kitties, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, keep going. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just showing up here because you want to finish. All right. So the last movie mm -hmm. that I watched was one of those uncorked movies. I love these uncorked movies. They are so creepy and quirky. Um, this one was Scarecrows. Ooh. It was kind of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre-ish. Wow, the, Scarecrows. Yeah, the guy, um, he gradually, one by one, collects these kids that trespass on the property and make them into Scarecrows. Um, some other ones that I think Uncork make was, made was uh, She's Crushed. Okay. I think you tried to find that one before. You didn't have any luck finding no. it. And uh, all cheerleaders must die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think what a that, title. <laughs> I think that was an uncorked that's movie, right. too. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I like those movies. They're just quirky and macabre, kind of. Straight to video. You're, you're, Straight to you're video. You're not expecting it. An uncork <laughs> looks like a bottle of wine with a little cork out at the end. and it, it, Yeah. Yeah. We see this. We see the... Uh, Interest there, yeah. uncorked. It's probably like the guys were sitting there. Okay, we need to name name our movie studio. And the guy sitting with a bottle of wine, going like, uh, "Did uncorked. I name that? Did I name that?" Uncorked. There we go. I Speaking can't think of uncorked, right now. yes. Speaking of uncorked, we had some uncorked magna madness Yay. this week. Matt came in the door, and I showered him with Katina. Katina. It was a Cabernet Sauvignon I got from Fresh to Frozen. Okay. I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say for you guys to have this one. I think we have the Malbec at Costco, but it was not it was not promising. I didn't I, yeah. You made a good blend <laughs> when I added to something else to it. <laughs> and then uh, one I had before Matt got here right. because, of course, I was off on Tuesday and Wednesday and I had to fill the gap. Poor girl, she's got to do something while she's here. <laughs> while she's off, got to do something. I did the Menage a Trois, very good dark red blend enjoyed it very much y'all should do this one if you find it on sale grab it grab right. it drink yeah. it if y'all have grab a chance it. to do the menage a trois do it <laughs> i don't pass Wink, that up nudge nudge he said knowingly <laughs> <laughs> and then um i had to have another glass of something tonight after matt got here so i had secret reserve this is the one I got a 12-pack of at Costco. Yep. Really good. Yep. And I blended it with the other one, and it was made it much better. Made the other one taste better. And then, of course, we had to wash it down with some Locos, so we had a little Heavens, bit... Heavens, not Locos again! A little bit of fruit punch. Fruit punch. And, of course, some strawberry lemonade. You can always count on that. Strawberry <laughs> lemonade? Sweet lemonade. Sweet lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went and played our lottery numbers tonight, but we didn't win. Huh? No! Unfortunately, we tried. If Dang. we if we did win, we probably would be on some beach somewhere. In a teeny tiny bikini with a big blue drink next week for our show. Well, you would be. I would be probably in big old <laughs> flower shorts. But yeah, 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 whatever. Big blue drink. Big blue drink, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And last Sunday was St. Patrick's Day. And so I went and got my mom a dozen donuts. And I also had to pick up some for ourselves. Oh my and goodness. So even oh though my they goodness. only made these Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you got some green donuts. Look at that. Look at that, Green people. Donuts. And the Oreo donuts. Yeah, Oreo, Oreo donuts. donuts. And cake the cat donuts. got so excited she had to run away. And 
pink sprinkly donuts. Can Green we, can we donuts, see? everybody. See, the empty holes are where we already ate them. Yeah, up, we've so. already been in that. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right, so y'all watch some of these movies. So it should be a better red box week next week. Hopefully, hopefully. Matt probably brought the best movie that's going to be in the box next well, week. Well, we'll see. We'll but see. we'll find out. We'll see. I'll yeah. watch them for you, people, and I'll yeah. review them for you and tell you whether to watch them or not. A lot of good stuff's not. coming pretty soon. But that old Pet Cemetery, I tell you, tried and true, that movie was good. Uh, and, I, and I told you I watched The Dead Zone before. I, I don't remember ever seeing The Dead Zone with Christopher Walken yeah, in it. Yeah, Christopher Walken and Martin Sheen. So yeah. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed that. Uh, these old movies, but the new Pet Cemetery is coming and Glass is coming, y'all. Right. So Matt and I are... Yeah. Uh, and they Matt they and I actually are... have a billboard for the new Pet Cemetery movie on I-95 as you're going to Richmond. I mean, I'm going like, what? Okay, well, apparently they want to tell everybody this is coming. And Spare Matt... no expense. Matt and I have free tickets to go see Shazam next Ooh. month. So we're going to review Shazam! that for you first thing. Yeah. 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 Very right. excited. Cool. So y'all come back for all of this. Have you some donuts. Thanks for coming by. Have to wait till next year for the green donuts again. But here we have them. <laughs> we'll be here for it. You can, you can leave your donuts out in the sun and they'll turn green in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm just saying it's an option. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching Jopie, a movie and a bottle of wine. I did the menage a trois. Very good.